This video is how to disassemble a Latitude 2120 by Dell. Step is to flip it over to the back side and there are seven, six screws you need to remove. One, two, three, four, and then under the battery, one, two. So we got six screws. Next step is to open it up. And because we removed those two screws, those two small ones, we could just lift up on the keyboard and pull it out. And then there is a ribbon right here. So just push, pushing that up, pulling this out, put the keyboard over to the side. There's three screws we have to remove here. Let's see, that one, that one, and that one. Once you remove those three screws, flip it over to the back side, kind of grab at the hinge here, and just pull it off, and everything is revealed. Now, in this case, I need to replace the wireless, the 3G card. So there's one screw that holds it in place. That's the screw there. And there's these two like wires that are on it. Just removing that one screw. And actually there's two little wires on here that I have to remove. One, two, one's white, one's black. It's color coded. So you'll know which, which wires to put in which. This is the replacement. Okay, there are little sl two slots that fit in these. So I'm just, Sticking that right in there. And replace the screw. Now to put these wires back on. Um, this is the hard drive, obviously, so if you want to remove the hard drive, you would take these four screws out, pull this out, and put a new hard drive in this little silver bracket thing and screw it back in. There's where you'd replace the RAM. And that's the Wi-Fi card. Okay, now that I put the new wireless 3G card in, and, and fastened the wires. I'm going to put it all back together. First we stick this on. Flip this over. My screws got all mixed up, so find all the right ones. Got them. Just putting one in there. There. 
in there. There. Put the keyboard back in. Well, do it this way. Okay, get this little ribbon in. Got it. Put that back in. And that's on closing it. Put these little suckers back in. So it, it, it's like a lot of steps, but once you get used to it, it's not that bad. I don't know why they made everything so difficult to access, but if you're a Dell tech, you are happy about it because that's how you have a job. And the laptop's booting up. And I'm hoping that the operating system detects the air cards.